Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today we're going to be recreating the New Trend Latte makeup. It's basically just golden goddess bronzy makeup. I feel like I've seen this photo since like 2010, but it's just very caramel, bronze, warm toned. First person I saw do this was Julia Adams, so you should go watch her video because it's very cute. We're going to start out by using my Nabla Cutie palette and we're going to be using that shade called Dark Room. And we're going to be taking this pointed shadow brush and really just buffing it into the crease and creating kind of a cat eye shape. And don't worry if it's like super messy. Once you get the amount of pigment you want down, you are going to um, sharpen it with a makeup brush. I also use the Kaleidos Makeup Symphony Contour Trio in Light and I use bronzer and the contour in that palette. I think that's what I'm doing here first actually and then I go in with the deeper Nabla shade. Um, you could just take a nice like very cool toned brown that doesn't have any like reds or pinks in it just to really get that shape going with that contour color. And then I also go in with more of this mustard color from a Huda Beauty palette that I have to add in more of that caramel tone. Like I said, you can sharpen it up at any time if you feel like you're getting too messy or if you messed up. I did a lot of layering. I went back in with that dark room shade, then that nice espresso chocolate brown color just to really deepen up and smokeify the eyes. So it's like a very super like sultry, bronzy, smoky eye. I went ahead after I resharpened it up and took that dark room, which is nice espresso chocolate brown, and really kept it in that crease and onto the lash line just to really enhance that smoky effect. And then I buffed it out some more with that nice caramel tone. After I finally got it to the color pattern I want, and then for the lid, the main color I've been seeing everyone doing is a very nice gold color. So I take the gold in the Nabla palette and I run that over the top of my lid to create that nice caramel effect on the top. I feel like I would call these salted caramel eyes rather than latte eyes. Now we're going to go in with the Hard Candy Brown Liquid Eyeliner and we're just going to do a little soft, you know, uh, fill in on the top lash line. You could go into a full wing, but today I decided not to just to have a lighter effect. Most people are just going in with some mascara and I do go in with the e.l.f. Lash and Roll in the brown color, in deep brown. I really like this mascara. It really lengthens and like separates your lashes really well. And you can leave it there, but I'm gonna go in with these eyelashes from the Dollar Tree. They are the Oaioni 3D Faux Meek Lashes, the dramatic ones. Um, again, these are only like a dollar twenty-five because now Dollar Tree is not a dollar tree; it's a dollar twenty-five. We are going to fill in our eyebrows like normal with the Maybelline New York Express Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in Deep Brown. One of my favorite eyebrow pencils also works as a lip liner. I had to do that the other day and it works really well. The only thing I would change here is I would really use my e.l.f. brow lip gel and really laminate my brows down just because I've noticed a lot of the photos um, of this makeup trend. They're very laminated but I forgot about that at the moment and but that's okay. I will stick with my normal brows instead of some feathered brows. We're gonna go in with our base with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Medium Glow which is the more bronzy color. It's definitely one of those good things if you have a bit of a foundation that's not dark enough or you just want to really bronze up your skin. We're gonna go in with the LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Harmony which is a nice yellow caramel toned cream contour and we're just going to draw that around the perimeters of our face and around our nose to really add that nice sculpted bronzed look. This look is very light so you could go in with the foundation and do the whole full glam but a lot of the videos I've watched on this it's more of a natural glam and then after we buff this out I'm going to use my Revlon Photo Ready Banana Concealer underneath my eyes 
lines and on my nose and just all the little places that I want to add some more coverage. And I think that this yellow one is a nice tone because it goes with the whole coffee bud. Um, the other thing I forgot to do was add faux freckles. A lot of the photos that I saw people had freckles, but I forgot. But that's okay you don't have to do freckles if you don't want to anyways and because my skin is such a light coverage a lot of my natural little freckles and moles already poke through anyways but if you wanted to add some freckles go ahead and do that after you're done I definitely couldn't go as light as a lot of the videos and stuff I saw on the concealer I just look very <laughs> tired a lot of the time we're gonna go in with the Uma Beauty by Sharon C. Cream Flawless in Real Life Cream Blush in the shade Audacity. It's a nice, very bronzy, warm toned blush, which I thought would add nicely to the bronzer that we already were wearing. And then now we're gonna mattify everything and set our face with the One Size Beauty Blurring Setting Power Powder just to really block in that base. We're gonna add some more bronzer with the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronzed Sun Kissed Bronzer, and I have the medium shade. I've went through, I wanna say like three of these. I used to get the light one, but now I've been getting the medium one, and it's such a beautiful, glowy, but not too glowy bronzer. We do contour just a little with that Symphony Contour Trio, because I just, love contouring so I can't get away from it. We're going to take the Rimmel London lip liner in the shade Coffee Bean specifically because it was called Coffee Bean. It's a nice brown based lip liner and I carve out my lips and then we are going to go in with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the Pearl Finish in the shade also Coffee Bean. I just thought they were perfect pair together. A lot of the videos I did see a lot of people doing like a nude glossy lip but I just thought this would be more fun and catered to the coffee makeup vibe and it goes really well with the bronzy eyes I feel like this would be a really good look for winter or fall but there is the finished completed look I think it turned out super cute I really liked it a little grungy but also a little smoky sexy vibe and I didn't say but I did add this brown shadow underneath my eye there just to really brought, draw in the smokiness and I'm not really used to doing that because I feel like it closes my eyes off but I think it looked really good and definitely something different for me um but I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like subscribe and comment below my next video should be my Portland Maine vlog we're leaving on Friday and I'm super excited also don't forget that you are loved no matter what and try to do something nice for someone spread some positivity the world is so filled with negativity we need some more positivity in the world so if you can make someone's day better that would make me so happy 